Nice. Should I ask her some more? Let's see how you survived before you met Zillabar. Let's ask her. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Let's go. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. Sometimes they do, you know. I didn't know you had a brother anyway, yeah, that's what I thought. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Alright. These little chats help me uh, decide who I want to take out with me. Yeah, what do you want? Tatooine is one big desert with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know what happened to them. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this. Dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place is just sand all over. There are some vicious people on this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Nope. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Yeah, so I learned from that, uh, just those conversation there, that Candorus, from from like a um, uh, sort of role-playing perspective type thing, because people want me to mix up my party a little bit more, and I, I, I can see why, because the characters are very interesting. So, um... Yeah, I have four speed. I knew someone else did. It was me. Um, yeah, I've learned that, that from that, like, mission's more of an, an urban survivalist, you know, a sort of a sh street street kid type thing. I knew that before, anyway, but from that, that little discussion, you know, she says she's got street, ma street smarts and stuff like that, which probably isn't useful on a desert pl planet. This dude here seems to know a hell of a lot about this sort of terrain and stuff, so therefore I will be taking him, and I think I'll... I am going to stick with Bastler because she's really integral to the story. We've got this bond, so it, it doesn't seem right not to bring Bastler along. So I'll bring Bastler, which I'm sure every other person who's ever played this game before has, has done. Um, at least I'll peed it, I reckon. It just seems like, a, you know, unless you're going against the grain, it seems like the more natural sort of thing to do for your character. And I'll bring Candorus, but let's just check out this workbench and see if I've got anything else to add to this lightsaber. Um... Do I? No. Well, that's handy then. Do I have anything else? No. Um, because what I thought... Yeah, you can take stuff off these and add them to other things. I don't really can't bother with all that. So, yeah. All right, let's leave. So I'm bringing you, and you. I mean, the, the droid will probably get sunned in him all the time. She needs more time before she's into the dark side. Kath being a dick, and Zalabar's kind of... Well, he's cool and all, but um, Kandorus will be more useful, I think, for the, you know, his knowledge of desert places. I'm not saying that that'll happen actually in the game, but from that's my character's thinking. Yes. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. Formalities? First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Yeah, I really don't like you, first thing. Uh, first thing, I, first impression, I don't like you. And I, that, that dude on the other planet, I'm terrible with names, but the dude at the other planet with the Jedi Enclave didn't like you, and uh, I can see why. I can see why. I, I, Zerka Corp just doesn't do it for me. Didn't they have dealings with the Sith or something? I can't forget, but they're not good people anyway. What if I say no? What do I get for my 100 credits? Maybe I'll just like be able to force persuade him not to bother with it. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. No. 
Yeah, Monopoly. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable. We just want to cover expenses. Ah ha ha ha! I don't need to pay the fee, right? You know, yeah. I don't think you need to pay the fee. We'll let it go this time. Sweet. I'm amazed at how many people that works on. The entire galaxy must be filled with weak-minded fools. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Thanks. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Um. Let's ask about. He's been here a while, so he's talking to us. So, yeah, let's ask about the background on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Hmm. Yeah, opportunity, you say? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. <laughs> That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Oh. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Hmm. So there's bounties. Which is like obviously hunting people, like we did on uh, Taris. Uh, there's the. I forget what he said now. I know what it means, a sort of monster hunting thing, which is sort of a, a more of a neutral sort of thing to do. And through pressing, which really does appeal to me. Does appeal to me. I'm not so much a bounty hunter. I know I did it on, on Taris, but that sort of fell into my lap. I'm not going to go straight after it. Um. So, yeah, super racing. Definitely going to look into that, at least. But yeah, background first. There isn't much to tell. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Um, why are you here? I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. I wonder which one's more likely to succeed here. I suppose, like, Force Persuade will be because it's the Force, you know? So, but you want me to tell me more about it, right? You want to tell me more about it. I, yes! I can tell you more, I guess. <laughs> it's not like or anything. Just not good for business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect. And possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Hmm. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. Why is it peculiar, you say? Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this. But it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. The tracking business has been slow, however. I will answer as best I can. What will you need while on Tatooine? Lots of water, I expect. 
Yeah, I'm looking for very specific things. He's under my thrall now. I've, put, I've forced persuaded him twice, so I reckon he's quite weak-willed, so I can get some stuff out of him if I need to. So, who should I ask for, like, very specific things? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? <laughs> not going to go out and say that. Yeah, alright. I'm a collector of antiques, apparently. 